What's up guys, it's your boy Darskin, and today we're going to be doing a tier list for uh, this month. Now, I was going to do this at the beginning of the month, but at the beginning of the month, we didn't have Blue Demon Meliodas. We also didn't have uh, Blue Lilia. I think we just got Valenti. There was just a lot, like a very big meta shift along with not having tank dn so it's like there was a there was just a lot of stuff going on with the meta and everything like that so i waited until it you know became stable stabilized i guess you could say to uh make this video simply because i knew that once we got all of these units i, I knew that okay we got valenti um and then it's like well we got meliotis right we got meliotis and then we got valenti and i just knew that we were going to be getting lolia pretty soon because there's no reason they would drop Meliodas without Lilia, at least like closely. So I just waited, and then we eventually got Lilia, obviously. So now we're doing the tier list. Uh, also, keep in mind, I get that some of you guys might disagree, and if you do, that's perfectly fine. This is not your tier list. This is my tier list, and this is my opinion. Now that we've got that out of the way, we can go ahead and talk about, you know, the tier list. So, we're going to be going from the top to the bottom. Starting out, uh, King and Gother, obviously, God tier. Um, literally, two of the best units in the game, if not the best two units in the game. Um, they fit on almost any team. They're used in almost, you know, well, Gother's used in literally everything. And King is just too good in PvP. Very good early game PvE unit. Um, he can carry through a lot of the early game content to get you to where you need to be just super good The uh, utility he brings to the team is amazing with cleanse heal petrify, etc. You guys already know um, I don't want to talk about those two that much Escanor God tier obviously uh, the big reason Escanor is God tier is because of all of the um, Blue units that are top tier not only is King top tier you have Lilia that's top tier you have Meliodas that's top tier all of those units he just is a, a um kind of a counter to them if you will if he gets three cards start he, he he's most likely one shotting or one turning them um literally just one shots them all the way um and i mean even with two cards right say he gets a fuse or go the rank up he can still potentially one shot so it just goes to show you know he's he definitely belongs here now valenti Valenti is god tier because she's literally, and I mean quite literally, the only counter to the pin team. Um, she's the only person in the game. She's she's god tier for the same reason Gother is god tier. Valenti literally is the only person that can do her job. Granted, you do have to ha have good resistance gear, but I mean, that's not that hard to come by, you know? Um, she's quite literally the only person that does her job. So uh, that's why she's got tier. Now, Helbrum. I know a lot of people are going to say, Darskin, you're just being biased. Helbrum is the only counter to the tank team. The full group, like Merlin, Gother, Valenti, Guild Thunder, all of that jazz. It, with DN as well, he is the only counter to that. Granted, yes, there are other ways to kind of beat the team. Helbrum is literally the only unit that can successfully beat that team, like, at a high win rate like consistently so that's why like it, it's literally like escanor beats blue valenti beats pin team Helbrum beats green like that's literally why those three are as high as they are because like the blue units are just so high tier or top tier that's why he wins pin team so top tier that's why she wins and then the tank team is so top tier that's why he wins so um not that hard to understand now i put pin team in its own like category and the reason why is because meliodas with, without um lilia is just not like that amazing and lilia kind of has no reason to exist without blue meliodas yes lilia can be used with hauser yes she can be used with you know escanor yes she can be used with etc etc but there's no better partner for blue lilia than blue demon meliodas and the same goes vice versa yes he can be used on other teams but his best team and his best friend is blue lilia and it's like um let's say we take like let's say they're not together these units both drop tears they 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 both drop tears right um but together they become amazing so that's why they have their own tier that's just what it is um that's how i'm doing it anyways ss tier y'all already know merlin is just a, a very good support 
slash utility specialist with taking away alt gauge her perfect cube and now with the valenti tank team merlin is that much more better because once she puts that perfect cube up you can't break through that shield it it, it gets so disgusting um because um merlin's best team obviously merlin goes on a lot of teams like alt rush she can she can go on, she can even go on pin team but one of merlin's best teams is the tank team and two of the units that are on the tank team are god tier which is valenti and gother so it just goes to show that it definitely works and alt rush is amazing as well god tier as well um dn also usable on the tank team she counters king Brum really hard uh if you go first with Deanna on your team, Kingbrum kind of gets cooked. Because if you rush someone's ult, Hellbrum has to go through her. And it's like, if you have Valenti on the team, um, she gets very, very disgusting. She's she's just, she's here because of Valenti. Like, Valenti just makes these, well, Merlin would have been here anyways. But she really didn't have a team without Valenti. But since Valenti's here, she just becomes amazing. Hauser, he's used on the pin team, which makes him exceptionally a good unit. Also, he is the best farmer in the game. You could argue Meliodas, but Hauser has double AoE, which just makes him that much more better. Not to mention the best farming team in the game is like three these three units. So, um, just goes to show he is amazing, to say the least. Um, Lilia, tank team, right? Literally, all these tank units are just amazing because they synergize so well. And you got to realize they're all green units. And they're, they're like, the team they're countering are blue units right so it's just like that's why they're all up here now like i said helbrum is literally countering all these green units and that's what just makes him as good as he is um arthur's still ss tier you can th i know a lot of people are like well darshkin i don't see why arthur's so good him giving 15 percent to humans with just keep this in mind him giving 15 percent hp related stats to humans when lilia hauser Deanne, not Deanne, um Lilia Hauser and Valenti are all humans is, is disgusting because now Valenti has more HP, Lilia has more HP, Hauser has more, it, it, he's disgusting. On top of human team, he can level three buff, it, it just gets out of hand, super, super good. Um, yeah, just an amazing unit all around, uh, not to mention Escanor as well. But um, then we go on to S tier, now we get on to the units that aren't super amazing when it comes to pvp type things but they definitely do well in other aspects of the game crimson demon red demon red demon most demons not gray demon but you know amazing booster weinhardt's amazing farmer he's amazing booster um i, I mean i'm gonna put it up here actually because he also is a part of the tank team right i, I don't want to take away from that uh but helbrum's boost definitely is better than guilt thunders because it's a, it's attack related stats which is like pierce rate crit chance crit damage but um him being on the tank team just makes him that much more better um uh, gray demon he's in the back of every raid and then um he's s tier simply because he goes on the pin team in the fourth slot now you could obviously take other people in the fourth slot but he is he's like the go-to unit um he would be SS tier, but, like, his skills are not that good. So, it's, like, outside of his passive, he just doesn't, you know, get full marks. So, that's why he is there. Um, Galen, Blue, Ellie Hawk, they're not necessarily bad. But with all these green units running around, they don't make the cut for PvP. And, like, for PvE, you there's, like, multiple other options. So, it's, like, whatever. Um, Jericho, just, her passive, and she's just a really good unit. Like, honestly. I, like she's just a really good unit and a lot of people might not know that she's super good um gila was s um s tier but now that lilia's out and the farming team has shifted from this unit to lilia she she's just gone down one now i know not everybody might have lilia so if you don't you can still use her for farming team uh sr meliodas is just an amazing sr i don't care what you say um against against my better judgment Bond has been put A tier. And dare I say, he might be S tier for the meta because of the tank team and him getting defensive stats. And because the pin team is blue and he's able to kind of slap them up. He's he kind of he's like A S tier. Honestly. 
I, I think that he works in this meta right now, right now, just because the the meta the meta is blue units, and this is the same. But keep in mind, right? It's not that Bond is just like so good. Whereas, like, it's the same reason why Bond was amazing at the beginning of the game, right? At the beginning of the game, they gave us two free units, Blue King, Blue DN. Two units that are both blue. Not to mention, humans were running around. So, the two free units they give you are blue, and then the human team, which consists of, like, Bond, Hauser, Jericho, Arthur, are red units and green units. Like, it, it just... Bond just was walking around. He was just walking around slapping blue units. But he has rose up again because of the pin team. Congratulations, Bond's not you know as horrible anymore. But yeah, so now Bond is um A tier, S tier ish. Um, the end's just A, a tier. She, she's always going to be a good option for ult rush. Um, she has a attack seal, single target, AOE, and AOE to but will double damage to buff units. Super good. Jericho has been moved down simply because Guild Boss is switched up. So Jer Jericho no longer really has a place. She's still the best like nuker in the game. Um, she's still a really good unit, but she's moved down to A tier just because like she's not, she's there's not really a place for her anywhere. Um, Valenti's also got tier because she's one of the best damage dealer on uh, the what's it called Guild Boss. Um, SR Liz, her passive is amazing, but it's like not, no one really needs her passive. There's nothing that like is so hard that you need her passive right now. So she's A tier. Um, the freeze units have no place because there's no guild boss. You don't use it for anything else. Uh, you could argue Red Demon, but it's like even Red Demon gets one shot. So it's like whatever. Um, Bond's good for Crimson Demon, but he's just like a secondary. He's never going to be as good as Demon Meliodas. Uh, Twigo actually does good damage. One of the highest he has the highest single target percent in the game on his card um 600 which i know other units have it but just the fact that he's a rare and he has it his passive is amazing um she's really good as well for her um her passive and guild boss on top of um her you know she has the pierce rate card which is really nice she's just not as good as you know hauser or blue demon melee she's not really used anywhere i'm gonna go ahead and put jillian up here too because my like for guild boss it's escanor valenti liz jillian for like the hp and all that jazz actually jillian's really good and her pass is really good uh guild thunder is actually a solid option for pvp um among other things if you like build the right team very solid option uh meliodas is just you know he just is always going to be around because of his count his counter mechanic and how it works uh, so there's that death pierce passive amazing overall just a really good sr uh elaine is only b tier because of her team elaine doesn't fit on any team but fairies and fairies are clearly top tier it's always why she's b tier um solid sr for taking away ult gauge is how he works not too bad um her passive and her taunt is really nice her um she's actually gonna be a tier in my opinion She's just the better option when it comes to the two the two DNs. Granted, this DN is the best DN, but she's harder to pull. Or she just came out, so she might not have been pulled as much. Um, she has, and then like how her passive works. My DN has 98% crit chance, no gear, because of how her passive works. She's a super solid option um, if you want to be that guy. But you know, whatever. Um, she is B tier, but if you, if you have her level one, she becomes A tier. So like she's a tier if she's level one um alioni good passive she's used she can be used in like gray demon hell but i mean i'm gonna have her b tier because she's not really used in anything for now um yeah you could ult rush in certain things with her but overall just not that good uh pretty good support uh he's just a niche character not that bad but you don't really use him anywhere i stand by gila not being horrible she's not that good she's very average but she's not horrible obviously very average marmus passive and his passive is kind of like weird like i gotta give respect to kabuki like i was gonna put him like d tier but i i don't think he is um gogius dogito i don't i don't think i have to explain any of these characters down here i'm gonna probably move her up one if we're talking final boss gother she's fucking ss but this is not final boss gother so um yeah i'm gonna leave her there 
I don't think we have to explain why all these characters are just not that good. Really? Like, I feel like it's self-explanatory why the rest of these characters are down here. This bond is horrendous. I don't care what you say. Um, yeah, I feel like we just don't have to explain why the rest of these characters are just not that good. So, um, this is my tier list for June. Uh, like I said, I want to wait until the meta shift stabilized before I made the video. Um, this is for PvP mainly and i mean obviously pve as well but there's like pve there's not that much like that you need to talk about you know like there's not like there's not any crazy pve going on whereas like you need to talk about it obviously we're talking final balls go through i have a separate video on that but um i can actually here you know what? this is what i'll do i, I got you guys because i know some of y'all are going to be like well dark skin why didn't you just you know do this so i, I got y'all i got y'all i got y'all um final balls go through We'll do that for final boss we'll go ahead and put all these characters here well whoever's just good for that um i mean she's mainly the only unit um obviously you can add a couple of these other characters that would be down here is there anybody else i don't think there's even anybody else um i think that's about it so um but yeah i mean if you wanted to put Final Balls go through here, I mean, I guess you could. Uh, but yeah, so, I mean, even Marmus, Final Balls go through. Yeah, boom. Okay. But yeah, so, this is the tier list for all of you guys that wanted it or wanted to know what was going on, what was the case. Obviously, Hauser is amazing for Final Balls go through. So is Lilia, so is King, but they're above that, so that's why they're up above it. Um... Weinhardt obviously is good for Final Balls Gother as well, but I'm just going to keep him here because I feel like S tier does him justice, you know? So it's like, well, we'll just put this down one. Boom. We'll do it like that. So, yeah, this is my um, definitive Final Balls Gother tier list. Well, Final Balls Gother. My June tier list or whatever you want to guys want to call it. But, um, yeah, so anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.